Damn! Welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but we're going to do another video talking about The Flash. Its drop-off is going to be one of the worst drop-offs ever. Second week drop-off for a superhero movie, like in the history of superhero movies. We're talking potentially a 75% box office drop. This is catastrophic it's probably going to be worse than morbius worse than morbius and apparently the only other superhero movie to drop off worse than morbius so far has been steel which i forgot existed until now uh 78 but morbius had a 73 percent drop off this is massively massively awful for warner brothers uh don't expect a flash sequel i think they kind of knew on some level that there was never going to be a follow-up and they were like yeah if this movie does well we'll do we'll do a flash too with uh, ezra miller now they have an out now they have an out now they can be like yeah we're just not doing a sequel to the flash because it, it did so bad but i guarantee you aquaman 2 and blue beetle are not going to do well either like the dceu is officially freaking dead at this point and i gotta be honest I, i'd love to be wrong in this case but i think james gunn's reboot of dc is going to fail too I mean, you know, the last uh, non-Marvel movie he did was, I think, Suicide Squad. He did that one, and it only did like $30 million opening weekend, and I loved it. I loved the Suicide Squad. I did. Uh, and I loved Peacemaker, but it didn't make money. I'm sorry. It didn't make money. It doesn't matter how good it is. It didn't make money, and you got to make money. So we're going we're gonna to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, I am not giving out woohoos. You're going to have to wait for Geeky. She will be back. This is coming from Dark Horizons. Uh, the Flash is tracking for a 75% box office drop. Damn. Uh, with late Friday box office figures in, the DC Comics adaptation of The Flash is reportedly on track to suffer an almost unprecedented 75% second weekend drop according to Deadline. The film debuted at $55 million. Last weekend, that was opening weekend. That was like 20 million less than they thought it was going to make. And it was adjusted down from the 100 to 125 million they thought they were going to do. I mean, they really overestimated how popular, how popular Michael Keaton's Batman was. And it's a damn shame because I would love to see a Michael Keaton Batman movie. I'd love to see, you know, maybe Batman Beyond or Dark Knight or something. And it's, it's probably never going to happen now. Maybe he's cursed it. He was in briefly, uh, kind of, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't actually him. Uh, he was in Morbius too. So maybe there's that, that common thread. Don't bring Michael Keaton in for cameos. You got to commit to it. Uh, should that figure hold? This weekend, it's headed for a $14 million, oh my God, $14 million box office uh, following a dismal $4.3 million gross on Friday. And it actually was beaten by Elemental and Spider-Verse. It was beaten by Spider-Verse and Elemental on Wednesday. Should that figure hold, it will be worse than the 66% second weekend drop of Green Lantern back in 2011, one of the worst drops ever for a major superhero tentpole feature. The film is easily being beaten by Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse and Elemental. Elemental was also a bomb. Who are fighting for the crown. Both were on track for around $18 million for the weekend. If it gets beaten by Elemental in week two, that is effing ridiculous. If those figures stick, Elemental will see a second weekend drop of just 39%, which is quite good. That actually is pretty good. Uh, maybe people were holding off to see if the movie was any good. It's still, a, for Pixar, it was a huge misfire. Spider-Verse, which is killing it this summer. Spider-Verse is just killing it. Spider-Verse is faring better with a fourth weekend drop of 33%, which brings the total to $315 million by the end of Sunday. As such, it's looking to likely end its run with a domestic haul a little below Far From Home, which was closed out at $390 million stateside. The Flash could also lose out to a new Jennifer Lawrence comedy, R-rated comedy, No Hard Feelings. Transformers Rise of the Beast will close out the top five with a three-day haul of $10 million. That's not good either, but that's been out. That was a week before Flash, I think, bringing its total to $121 million so far. Domestically, the film is on track to beat the last two films in the series, that ended their runs at 130 and 127 respectively. Is that is it any good? I've heard I've heard mixed things. So I hated I hated the last two Bayformers movies. I, I literally could not understand the plot of uh, Age of Extinction 
in the last night. And last night I got halfway through it. I didn't even go. Th- I didn't go to the theater to watch it. I got halfway through it and turned it off. I'm like, I don't even know what the hell the plot of this movie is. Really, the only Transformers movies I liked liked one movie, Bumblebee. I love Bumblebee. So I was kind of hoping for a follow-up to Bumblebee, and this one looks like it kind of sort of is, but not really. It's kind of a reboot, but not really. I don't know. Is it good? I, that's all I want to know. Is it any good? Is it that, I mean, I know the bar is really low for Transformers movies, but, uh, you know, I am a, a longtime Transformers fan. I just want a couple of good Transformers movies. Anyway, uh, Wes Anderson's Asteroid City, which I want to see very badly, went on to do 7.5 million, and it's in limited release. Very limited release. So this is freaking dire. I mean, this is just like, what the hell? So if you go out to uh, Morbius and the drop-offs, you can see Morbius had a 73% drop-off. Steel had a 78% drop-off. X-Men Dark Phoenix, which I'm I'm trying to forget about, 71% Suicide Squad. Again, we're going to give James Gunn the keys to DC. Suicide Squad had a 71% drop off. Hellboy the Golden Army, which was, I thought, pretty damn good. 70%. Jonah Hex, forgot it existed. Hulk, the ori- I think the original Hulk from like 2004. Uh, Batman versus Superman, 69%. Electra, 69%. Wolverine, terrible, god awful, horrible movie, 70%. Here are several examples of typical. Second weekend drops. Uh, Shang-Chi, 54%. The Batman, 50%. Black Panther, 44 Wonder Woman, 43 Joker, 41 um, So this, <laughs> so it's doing worse than Morbius, guys. That, that's how freaking bad this is. That's how bad this is. And this is a disaster. And, and it coincides with Warner Brothers all of a sudden having a fire sale on their music catalog. They're like, yeah, we... We're going to sell our music catalog for like $500 million. It's probably because they're like, we need money. We thought this thing was going to be our our no way home. We thought this thing was going to be huge. And we just got our freaking teeth handed to us. Can't imagine why people didn't go see this movie. Well, lots of complaints. One, the, the Ezra Miller effect was worse than I actually thought it was going to be. I thought normies didn't care. About Ezra Miller. No, a lot of people saying in the comments on various websites, they did not go specifically because of Ezra Miller and uh, the abuse and the arrests and the grooming and all that shit. They did not go. Um, A lot of complaints about special effects. Uh, A lot of complaints about this, you know, they're wrapping up the Snyderverse or whatever, and the Snyderverse fans are pissed off too. But yeah, so let's talk about the effects because this I thought was really interesting. This is coming from comic book movie. Flash VFX artist says, if it looks like it was made in a week, it's probably because it was. Remember they're out there trying to defend the special effects being like, hey guys, uh, it's supposed to look bad. That was a stylistic choice to make this movie look like ass. That was a stylistic choice. Um, So in a video posted to TikTok, Zach Mulligan, who worked on Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Black Adam, a VFX artist who worked on The Flash as well, shed some light on why the movie's visuals fell short of expectations. Explaining that VFX houses remained overworked, that's true. Mulligan says, artists are forced to work relentless hours overtime almost every day, including weekends. If the VFX companies aren't meeting the unrealistic expectations, they risk losing out on future contracts, and there are only so many studios that are making superhero movies anymore, and there are going to be fewer. I think there have been so many bombs lately and so many movies underperforming that I think there are going to be fewer superhero movies. When you're putting out this many projects with shorter turnarounds, the VFX will always look worse. So if it looks like a VFX shot and the Flash was made in a week, it probably was. Um, yeah, it, it looks pretty bad. It looks bad. It's not making money guys. It's over. Like I I do not think I'm going to be honest. I do not think James Gunn is going to be able to turn this thing around. Um, you know, outside of guardians of the galaxy, his, his box office record is not good, especially when it comes to DC. I mean, got to remind you guys, as much as I like this movie, it had a massive drop off. People did not go see it. Uh, It was not good. It, It just did not do well at the box office. And uh, here we go. So this is way worse, way worse than I could have predicted. I honestly thought this movie was going to do pretty okay just because of Michael Keaton's Batman. And I was wrong. It's it's not doing good at all. And this is going to be a catastrophic failure for Warner Brothers. I actually would not be surprised 
if after this they didn't take a step back and be like, do we really need to have more superhero movies? Because they're really expensive and we're rolling the dice every time we put one out. And, you know, frankly, other than Batman and Joker, they they haven't really been hitting it out of the park. They haven't been knocking it out of the park, right? So I don't know. If it were me, I'd be like, let's let's uh, let's slow our roll a little bit. Let's uh, maybe wait a couple years and see if if uh, you know the public is interested in another you know three hundred million dollar Superman movie because uh, we might not make our money back. We might not make our money back on this. Maybe we'll just stick with Superman on the. Well, I guess it's not the CW anymore. Whatever's left of the CW, we'll do some more Superman Lois and and kind of just play it by ear. That would be my my take on it. That's what I would probably do. I'd be like, yeah, let's not do another one of these. Let's not make another flash for sure. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.